Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We're working on a bit of free motion tree fun. Uh, lots of people seem to like it. That was in my background for my Air and Fall Fair project with the trees of all free motion. So I uh, did it on my domestic. This will be the first time I'm trying it out on here and I don't see why the principle really isn't the same. So I thought I'd try and show you off in a big old scale, okay? So I just got some white broadcloth on the back and the front with just a little bit of poly batting, nothing literally too exciting, just something around to play on. I had set out two big squares here and I, it pretty much is the width of what I can get with Walt, which is approximately 22 and a half inches from, from point to point. So he's got a lot of room in him for sure, right? And to thinking of a tree, how does a tree grow? Okay, it goes from the bottom up do you want to do any roots? That's up to you. If you want to do roots, then I would set a, some sort of a, a horizon line, like some sort of line here where you can chalk it out or pencil it out if you want to. I'm just going to free mow this because, you know, I'm dangerous and that's how I like to live. And then you could do your roots down here and then the rest of your tree up there. That's completely up to you. I thought it'd be a fantastic, great Christmas idea. All you'd have to do is stitch their last name on the bottom here somewhere in the roots and there you go. That would be a really awesome, good idea. So hopefully it won't take too long, but uh, we'll do like one big tree, okay? And I just chose, um, I'm not even sure exactly the color. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it looks like a brownie burgundy. So I'll get the proper color for you. I put it on constant because with constant, because we are trying to make trees and do lines and pivot off points and stuff like that, you really want the threads to keep going or the machine to keep going as much as possible. You don't want to drag it because then you're going to end up with bigger stitch and stuff like that. So, you know, just, just work it the best you can. I'm going to try and come up about midway and leave a bit of more room to build me some branches uh, and then come back down and build the trunk. It's an all matter process. You're not just going to focus on one thing. You're going to come back and move up and move back and down and so on and so forth. Okay, so I have Walt on constant. As soon as I hit the start button, he's going to go like crazy, and my speed is 8. Uh, since the update, they've changed it. It used to be fine at 55%. I'm not sure what 8 is, but we're working with it. <laughs> it had it at 13. It was going way too fast for me. All right, so we ready? Okay, let's go. Let's make a mess with some fabric. <laughs> And you're just kind of thread painting. You know, you want to build, you want to build your branches. You want to put a little natural curve to them. I mean, that's how I was thinking it. And I was thinking, okay, how do branches like to grow? They go up a little bit. There's usually a one that's a little bit bigger than the other. You come down, you work, you work. Little branch, little branch. Come back and thread paint as much as you like. You know, that's completely up to you. And you're going to get to the point where your tree is just literally making itself. You know, you're, you're just having fun. You're doing some branches. And this has, it doesn't have to be any particular type of tree whatsoever. This is your tree. You know, you can make a pine tree, make a spruce tree, make a you know, what is it, um, Manitoba maple, you know, whatever you want to make, okay? You're just going to slowly build it up, thread painting at a time, give some a little extra branches, some broke, some's a little wonky, you know, you're just, you're giving it that extra depth with the painting of the thread. The paint, the thread is your paint and the needle is your paintbrush. So think of it that way, okay? And you're just gonna work it. Don't worry about your loops are closer, farther apart. It's all gonna give the depth when you keep going back on over it a couple of times to making, you're gonna crease your tree branch out. You know, you're gonna work it. It's, it'll be pretty, trust me. Trust me, give it a shot. You'll be very surprised. If you're afraid of free motion, this is probably a good project to start with. You're just, you're making a bunch of painting on a piece of fabric with some batting. Make a little sandwich, sit in front of your domestic. Go all crazy, make yourself a tree. I bet you can do it. I'd love to see pictures. And that's just how you're gonna work it. Just keep puttering away. Huh? Don't you cross over, branches always cross over each other, you know? 
and you're just going to build your tree. Okay. And all your many branches. And if you got really creative, you could, you know, slap people's names on there. You know, like if it was for, for you know, for my family, it would be, you know, Lorlin and 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 you know and obviously pop and then you know munchkin and then you know we'll probably include the animals because we're a small family right so we'd include the cat and the dog and not the chickens that's just drawing it too far <laughs> a little update on those little chicks that i got in the middle of this or beginning of the summer six of them are roosters yeah six of them <laughs> They're not going to lay me any eggs. Ah, okay, we'll deal with them. I'm going to try and put them on Facebook first. And then if not, freezer camp. See? And they're like, in no time at all, you've got yourself a pretty wicked tree. And you can go and applique leaves on this to your blue in the face. You could fill it all up with names of the children on a leaf and put it on the branches. You can think of, just think, just think of how many fun things you can do with this little free motion tree, right? And when you think about it, even if it just took you half an hour, 25 minutes, even an hour, you know, you made something so unique and special for someone or their family, and it will be with them forever, you know. Just keep coming back and forth. You're like, oh, okay, that looks a little bald back there. I'm gonna come back in here, do a couple of more branches. Put one coming off there, up there. Maybe up here, it's a little lonely, you know. And I'm, you know, maybe it can look easy, but it takes, it takes a little time, a little practice, you know, but you can certainly do it. Keep a loose grip on your handles if you're, or, or your fabric, if you're just doing it on your domestic, you know, just hold on to it, but just don't keep a death grip on it, right? It's not going to run away from you. And that's pretty much how I did all my beautiful little trees. And of course, you want some branches that are in the background because, you know, you got to fill up both sides of the tree, the tree branches, right? You could even come back in with, you know, a really funky thread and, you know, add a little bit more texture, buds to the trees if you want yourself to have like a spring theme to it. You know, little, little loops of yarn or little balls of yarn would totally look like little buds of leaves sprouting out on the tree. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry about coming back and forth. It's all going to add to the depth in the end. Like you can see, just a few minutes, how much has already occurred. You know, don't be afraid to come crossing over. That's how branches do, you know? They're not all just staying straight up. You can see everybody, you know? You come down and build a bit of a base. Okay. You could do a little not in the tree and you're going to fill all this in this is all going to be filled in just painting away what probably came up too high there but that's okay go around you get what i mean just play around and have some fun if you're uncomfortable at first use scraps if you're confident in yourself and just want to dive right in there then go for it pick something fun to work on make a pillow turn it into a pillow you know, perfect for someone's couch, wall hanging, you know, start to the table runner for Christmas, placemats, you know, I don't know, anything. Everybody seems to love trees, you know, there's nothing wrong with a tree. If you got the flair to do birch, then do the birch, 
you know? Just be confident in yourself and just do something different, you know? Our tree skirt is coming along fantastically on the uh, live streams, the Sunday live streams. So it's looking really good, very happy with it. Hopefully you guys get a chance to check that out if you haven't already. Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Canada time. Well, obviously Eastern anytime, but um, that's when we film. That's when we're here. Like socializing, having like a cup of tea, hanging out with people, talking about things we love, crafting, fabric, making messes. And I just chose Glide, but even a nice solid cotton, maybe a signature or a, um, you know, one of those other ones that don't have that little sheen to it would do a fantastic job of making your trees because it would give that more of a earthy tone to it instead of like this, this glossy shine sort of bit, right? And you could, a uh, variegated one would be awesome if you had a variegated big thread like that. A nice big cotton variegated would look great. would add that little extra little depth and you can come back and come back with a green and come back with a gold or something like that and really add so much depth to this tree but really like I say many too many many times the only limitation is your imagination so I didn't chalk anything out I'm just kind of going with how the tree's talking to me as I'm making it so I mean but if you want to trace something out then go ahead you know, use your pens. The washable Crayolas are fantastic. You know, at least you can you can stitch over your line and then it would wash right out afterwards so you don't have to worry about that. So if you use a dark color to make sure you're stitching over your lines and where you really want to go, you know, those are always helpful tips. There you go. Here, I'll just come back a little bit and you kind of, there. Hopefully you can see what we were working on. Finish out this chunk a little bit here. Get a little bit more depth. Oh, I guess we're done because we're out of bobbin. <laughs> but pretty much, you get that. You get you get the gist of it. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, and then you know, of course, you keep playing and playing. It depends on how big you want to make it, right? And like I said. Um, Put a chunk on and just go and have some fun. Explore with some thread. That's pretty much what we're painting with thread today. So thanks everybody for watching, liking, subscribing, upvoting, and all the fun stuff that goes along with all the views. We really, really appreciate it. Big hugs to everybody, and we will see you on Weekend Project. We're working on some more of our Christmas 2017 quilt. All right, take care everybody. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Bye-bye.